Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we're going to look at software defined radio for mobile phones such as Android. So for this you will need an antenna and you will also need of course a mobile phone for example. In this case I have the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's a few years old now but it's still pretty good. And here I have the R800T2 RTL SDR with the AND500 telescopic antenna, which can be extended to around one meter or one and a half meter, I think. And if we just screw it on, then it will be ready to be used almost. But we also need an OTG cable. So this is like a reverse USB cable and it's used to connect USB devices. In this case, the RTL SDR, but you can also connect a flash drive, for example, and then plug it into your phone. So once it's connected and connected to your phone, then we are ready to use the SDR touch and also the associated driver. So I've tried various programs. My favorite is SDR Touch, even though I've also tried Questa SDR. So here we have the frequency. And in case we go to, for example, 100 megahertz, that's where a popular radio station is at, then we can listen to it, of course. But instead of using uh, the headphones, for example, with some mobile phones, we're using the RTL SDR instead. So if you click uh, listen, and then it will start playing the music. So here you can hear FM signal from the RTL SDR at 100 megahertz. And the cool thing is that we can also try other things with this program. We can look at the RDS information, for example. And we can also take a look at the spectrum. So this application basically functions like a spectrum analyzer almost. And you can also do the squelch thing as well. And using the jump function, we can jump to another frequency. In this case, let's jump to GSM, for example. So here you can hear a GSM downlink. And this application also has other functions that you can check out. Keep in mind that I bought that I actually bought this program, even though it also has a demo version as well that you can try out. For DVBT, you will actually have to download a separate app and also a different driver, because in order to decode DVBT or digit digital TV, you will need to load a different driver with the RTL SDR. So here I have the other application running. Make sure you have the correct country selected. In this case, I have Denmark selected. And after you've done that, click search. And then it will take a while to search for all the available digital TV channels. In my case, I had to point the antenna outside of the window and also had to make sure that the antenna was not touching any of the metal in the metal frame of the window. So that's quite important as well. Now this took a few minutes to scan, but once you've scanned for all the available channels, it will actually go quite fast once you load the program up a second time or afterwards. So it's only the first time that it will take a while to, to try and scan and find all the available channels. But once you've done that, it's actually quite neat. And now it's finished and actually ready to run. So automatically it will go to the first channel. In this case, I've already done it once before. So now you can actually see some actual TV from one of the local channels. One of the local channels that is free, that, that is. I actually recorded a bit more, but unfortunately the recorded file actually got corrupt. 
so I only got a few seconds of this clip. Anyway, stay tuned and subscribe.